Hey guys, so what's up? This is Tony SK, SAP FICO, S4 HANA Finance, MM Trainer. Today I'm going to discuss about SAP Controlling Module Product Costing. And uh, this is short video guys. Uh, see, uh, so far we explained about SAP Product Costing, um, the free videos for SAP CO aspirants. And this is uh, eighth session. And uh, why costing run is required in real time. So this is the topic I'm going to cover in the couple of minutes. If you are completely new to this channel and watching my videos first time, please subscribe right now and hit the bell icon. So far what we have discussed, what is product costing, objectives of product costing, preparing for costing, product costing integration, material cost estimate with quantity structure, product cost planning, costing variant, bomb, a role of BOM in SAP PP module, usage of BOM in MRP, moving average price and standard price, routing concept, five important steps to understand the product costing in SAP. Okay, see, so far we explained about cost center planning, activity rate calculation, quantity structure, and this is the fourth step, costing run. So very important step. So what is the uh, what is costing run today? I'm going to tell you, and in the last sessions I clearly explained uh, cost center planning and activity rate calculation, and also quantity structure. Okay, and today topic is costing run. Very important concept in month ending activity. Uh, see, it's the costing run comes under the month end and year end activity. Very important in real time also. Um, the costing run is a tool mass processing in product cost planning. So in order to do the product cost planning, so we need to run um, the costing run in every month. So this is month ending activity. The costing run is a tool for mass processing. Mass processing means we can uh, uh, process the materials. See, we can process uh, 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 we can process the cost and mark and release more than one material at the same time for the single company. So uh, this costing run activity every uh, month end uh, CO users will perform. And here, the costing run is a tool for mass processing in product cost planning and it enables you to cost, mark and release more than one material at the same time. So these are all prerequisites, uh, prerequisites um, that we need to know initially, so before understanding the costing run. So material master, so including MRP, accounting and costing views, these are three important views that we learn in material master concept. In the quantity structure, we already discussed what is the bill of material, routing, master receipt, and um, production versions are optional. And purchasing info records and condition types we should aware. And uh, uh, if desired for costing also. For configuration areas, we should know cost component structure, costing variant, and valuation variant, and costing sheet if required. And CO master data like uh, primary cost and secondary cost, activity types, mixed costing ratios, and alternatives are required. So um, these are all are very important and uh, uh, prerequisites for uh, uh, to run the costing run. Okay. And costing run, uh, so you can see here graphic uh, uh, representation um, that also you can see create costing run. In order to create costing run, we should uh, know company code and update parameters and one side cost variant and costing dates. So we can select all materials. Okay. And also here costing variant, uh, so partial selection of materials and also bomb explo explosion and uh, execute costing run and finally price should be updated so this costing run enable uh, to material to price update release okay and uh, mark cost see this is for enables to cost mark and release more than one material at the same time okay so here you can see in order to run this costing run uh, ck40 transaction code should be used so here the, we should uh, aware the costing va variant and the costing version and controlling area company code. So we need to run the costing run for one company code only. And uh, uh, finally, so you will get the uh, you will get uh, the uh, cost uh, pro product cost uh, see mass processing in product cost planning. So uh, to cost and mark and release more than one material at the same time. So this costing run should be. Um, happened in every annual and monthly costing process. Uh, materials are costed in costing run and transaction code CK40 should be used uh, to execute costing runs and analyze results and mark and release costs 
so the costing run must be created using costing variant and uh, costing version controlling area company code and transfer controls these are all things uh, uh, we should have so before run the costing run this is monthly activity so therefore costing run can be only created for one company code at a time so costing run should be uh, created only for one company code at a time okay so this is all about costing run so here uh, the costing run is nothing but so mass processing this is completely mass processing in product cost planning so by doing this uh, uh, we can see the cost and mark and release for more than one material uh, at the same time in single time we can mark the cost we can uh, we can enable to cost and mark and release the cost so thank you very much for your support this is chanyas k signing off